Hey guys, this is Tyrone from Wago, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Epsitron single channel electronic circuit breaker. So, nice thing about this guy is it is one of the smallest circuit breakers on the market with a 6mm wide construction. Uh, also, the nice thing about this one in particular is the adjustable version. Now I'd like to walk you guys through a demo of how it works and how it could work for you. Alright, so if we look at how this circuit breaker is currently wired, you'll notice I have my voltage in, positive and negative and my voltage out, but I have my vo only my voltage out wired and I have my ground wired to another connection. And what we're gonna be doing here with this demo is actually simulating a ground fault. So we'll be, we'll be shorting the ground to the positive voltage output. All right, so to put this circuit breaker into programming mode, I'm going to pop the plastic housing at the top. So it will have a directional arrow to show you where to insert your screwdriver. Now I've exposed the red LED and the dip switch. In this case, the LED is red because the circuit breaker is turned off. So now if I want to put this thing into programming mode, I'm going to hold down the dip switch for three seconds. Now I have a turquoise light and that indicates that I am now in the mode to adjust the current level. So if I look at this amber blinking LED, it's blinking four times with a pause, which indicates that it's set for a current level of four amps. So if I want to go to the next section of the programming mode, I can hold this dip switch down again. Now I can see it is uh, at violet color. So the violet color indicates that I can set the signal output. Um, so in this case, if I want to change it from one signal output to another, I can change it by toggling up or down, and I'm going to get a different flashing LED code corresponding to a different signal output, of which we will cover. So to get out of the programming mode, I'm going to hold this down again for three seconds. Now I'm back to red, and to turn this on, I'm just going to simply push this down once, for one second, and now I have a green LED, which means I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to simulate the ground fault condition by shorting the ground to the positive voltage output. Okay, so we see a spark there. See the breaker has tripped, it's flashing red, and now it's leaving us with an error status of a flashing yellow at one hertz. So we can actually check the error status of the circuit breaker by the flashing color and the frequency of the flashing, uh, which we'll show soon. Looking at the various positions on the breaker, we have signal output S2, control input S1, Voltages in, voltages out, and ground. For the configuration, as we saw in the demo, we are holding down the dip switch in three second intervals to move through the programming mode. For turquoise, we can adjust the breaker amperage in one amp steps. For violet, we have a number of options on how we want to set signal output S2 to the PLC. Again, any particular signal output will also provide a status LED on the breaker as a further diagnostic to understand the nature of the trip. We also have three options for control input S1 to decide to either reset the breaker, switch it on, or switch it off. One thing worth mentioning is that this series of breaker we have discussed does not have an adjustable trip curve like other options and the curve will be most similar to B characteristic. This breaker is ideal for control signals with small inrush currents as the trip time is very low. Thank you for your time and let us know if you'd like to see any other product focused demos.